Hi, it's Matt from Go Green Auto. So here we have what is probably the rarest electric vehicle on the second-hand market. It is a Renault Kangoo long wheelbase maxi. It is a crew van, so it has got the five seats. So technically it is a van, so it is plus fat. It is a commercial vehicle. And you have got a row of foldable three seats at the back. So you could either use this as an MPV, a very practical family car, or you could use it as a nice van. So this one is a 22 kilowatt hour battery pack. That battery which sits under the floor there is leased. You hire that from 25 pound plus VAT a month. And for that, that battery is guaranteed to 60% of its original capacity. And you also get breakdown in cover included. So the purpose of these videos primarily is to describe the condition and then people can buy the vehicle without viewing it first and then I deliver it to you. However, this one is still like new. There's nothing to point out on it at all, really. Uh, this has only done a thousand miles. It is a 2014, but it's very late. It's sort of the end of the year 2014, so nearly a 15. Uh, but it's absolutely immaculate. It is just as it came out of the showroom and it was new. But I'll walk around and show you the condition anyway. Uh, being only a thousand miles, the tyres are all still like new. There isn't a single scratch or stone chip to point out. There's only two little things which I could say about it. Is firstly, it has had a new windscreen in it. Um, and then there is a little scratch here on the wheel trim. These wheel trims do protrude. They're unique to the Kangoo ZE and they always catch the kerbs. But, you know, it's just a plastic wheel trim. Uh, there's not a single scratch dent. There's no marks on the back of the mirrors. It is just immaculate. Um, the only other thing I could possibly point out is that uh, number plate light is fading a little bit and it's gone a little bit greyer than the rest of the plastic but you know that's really minor and then looking in the back it's in really nice condition it has been used there's a few little scratches on the paintwork there on the floor uh, ideally you would uh, cut a bit of carpet or something in there or if you're going to use it as a van you can put some ply down but the sides are all scratch free while well, saying that there's a scratch there but you know that that back seat looks like it's never been sat in uh, there's no scratches to the paintwork it's all immaculate um, while we're here this is your type 2 to type 2 charging cable. Here we have um, a safety kit triangle, um, I think a fluorescent jacket, I think also a little fire extinguisher, I won't open it, it's a bit difficult to do it one-handed. Um, strangely we've got a jack there as well, however this Kangoo does not have a spare wheel hanging uh, hanging underneath there like you do on the other vans, the crew, va the, uh, yeah, the crew vans don't get a spare wheel instead you get a puncture kit which I'll show you that um, but yeah really nice inside this plastic scuff plate is all still like new as is the rubber trim you know it's just immaculate this vehicle and then looking around at the side as you can see those seats have never been sat in um, I've put new carpet mats in as well because it didn't have mats and then these seats just simply fold flat like that and then you get this plastic cover to take up the gap and you've got a huge load area uh, with the seats up that isn't much smaller than a short wall base van um, I would say a short wall base van probably comes to about here um, it's just huge and then you've got sliding doors on both sides you've also got windows for the passenger uh, side doors here that just hinge open a little bit and uh, obviously that other seat folds flat as well so it's um, uh, two on that side and one on this side and then looking in at the cab everything's just immaculate door card there's all scratch free it's all still genuinely looking like new and not a mark on the seats so if I just start it up there 
we can then see there on the dash the mileage is 1208 miles and to show you how new this is it's even still got the bit of plastic film stuck over the screen of the radio um, so being a phase two van this has got the newer style stereo where you've got usb input you've also got bluetooth so you can pair your telephone to it as mine was just synchronizing up there um, this doesn't have air conditioning air conditioning was an option on these uh, kangoos but you do have pre-conditioning so you can set a timer on the dash leave the heater control round to the clock symbol and for example let's say you set the dash that you're going to leave at eight o'clock in the morning while the vehicle was connected to your home charger it will get ready for eight o'clock and it will draw the power from the house it will heat the van up it will melt the ice off the windows and then when you get in you've still got 100 percent range 100 percent of your battery and then you can probably do your journey without the heating on at all because the vehicle's already warmed up and then in the summer it does the same but it puts the fans on and moves the air around obviously this doesn't have air con so it can't cool it but it, it uh, tries to um, cool it by moving the air um, but yeah this one's immaculate as i've said uh, this plastic normally gets a bit scratched on the vans but you know it's all still looking like new you've got a cup holder there one up the front there this is your handbrake you've got 12 volt socket here this is your eco switch um, having it in eco is worth it for normal driving it just dulls the power to the motor a little bit stops your wheel spinning stop you using too much power it does limit your top speed to about 64 miles an hour i think so if you're you know bombing along a dual carriageway you might want to take that off but for normal driving uh, you might as well keep it in eco um, it just gives you a little bit more range so let's talk about range. These Kangoos at this sort of age, typically I would expect them to do somewhere between 60 and 70 miles. However, this one is low mileage, which to be honest, isn't always a good thing because if they're left fully charged and uh, for left for long periods not being driven, it's not particularly good for the battery. But this one's a little bit different. Um, I did a range test last night. I always do that with every vehicle I sell. It gets a bit tedious, but I drive it for full tank full right until it's uh, virtually empty. So I can properly prove the range. So, you know, I'm confident with uh, what I'm selling and what I'm telling people. So this one, I did a range test last night and uh, I drove it until it uh, the performance limited message came on. So there is something in reserve as well, but that uh, gets quite difficult to prove that amount because uh, effectively you, you end up running a high risk of being stranded. So you just drive around in smaller and smaller circles, um, but I don't like to push it too much. Um, so I did a range test and I drove exactly 86.6 miles and that was at 4.43 miles per kilowatt hour. Um, and I was driving normal road speeds. Uh, most of it was A roads, uh, 50 miles an hour. Um, I did go on dual carriage away for a bit. I did drive through Oxford once, but not for very long. So to be honest with these sort of vehicles, they do prefer that sort of stop start driving, city driving, because you're getting some regen back. Virtually all of my driving yesterday was um, driving at speed with very little regen. So um, it's now fully charged and there you can see it's predicting the range of 110 miles, which I've never seen on a Kangoo. Um, you're not going to get 110 miles, to be honest. Um, that is pushing it a bit. But anyway, I got 86.6 miles and then when I plugged my scanner in, uh, the state of charge of the battery was still at 7.66%. So I don't know how much of that 7.5% is usable, but uh, it was still had a fair few miles left. So I think roughly there was another 7.5 miles left in the tank. So that means uh, range is at 94 miles in the summer. Uh, and you could drive better than I was driving. You know, if you did more um, slower speed driving, more, more stop-start driving, then potentially that is even better. Uh, you'll get a better range. But I also scanned the battery state of health and the battery state of health on this vehicle is still at 100%. So um, this for a used Kangoo, this is as best I've ever seen. I've never seen a range meter showing 110 miles. 
Um, and uh, yeah, I've never had one that's still, you know, used. And this is a 2014 vehicle, still at 100%. So effectively, it's still like new. So that's summer driving. Uh, so in the winter, you would expect to see roughly uh, a 15 to 20% drop in that uh, that's mainly because the batteries uh, will be cold overnight this is in the cold part of the winters i should add um, and then if you use the heating system this is a resistive heater so it does draw rather a lot of energy um, so yeah in in the coldest parts of the winter when it's um, down near freezing potentially you'll see a 20 percent uh, drop in range but uh, as i said you know they don't come better than this this is um you know, for a Kangoo, this is performing remarkably well. Next, I'll just talk about charging. So charging on these vans is a 3.6 kilowatt charger. You've got an AC type two connector here. It only has that one charge rate, so it doesn't have a DC rapid charging on these. So you can't do the long distances because you can't do that fast 20 to 30 minute rapid charge. All charging is at 3.6 kilowatts. So typically overnight, it charges in about five, five and a half hours. But if you can charge during the day at your workplace or, or you know, at home and you can do charging between drives, then you could effectively double the range. Um, but, you know, Kangoos are ideal in cities, um, but they're just not very good at doing the long distance trips because you don't have rapid charging facilities. So if you own an EV, ideally you want to get a home charger installed. If you've got off-street parking, i.e. a driveway, then you can get a government grant of £500 towards the charger. So chargers now have to be smart to qualify for that grant, so they have gone up a little bit. But the Rolex smart chargers are £295 installed, well, from £295. Some properties may require a little bit more work, so they do cost a bit more, but majority get installed for the standard fee. And then uh, in the meantime, you can charge this on a three pin plug. I do provide a portable charger, which allows you to charge this on a three pin plug. I do a free loan of that cable. And then once your home charge is installed, which typically takes uh, up to two weeks, then you can return the portable charger back to me and I give you a hundred percent refund. So it works out to be a free loan. Or if you want to, you can just keep it. Uh, because they're very handy cables to have because it means you can charge the vehicle wherever you go if you go to a hotel or you go and see friends or family you can charge at their house on just a normal three pin plug. So I'll just show you the paperwork this has got two original remote keys and the security tag and here we've got the V5 it's had no previous keepers it came from uh, Lex Auto Lease and the registration date is the 22nd of the 12th 2014 and then we got an MOT until 21st of the 12th 2019 it was last done at only 872 miles uh, this vehicle is actually MOT exempt anyway all electric commercial vehicles are um, if they're registered before March 2015. So there's no legal requirement to have uh, MOT test on this if you do not want to get them done. There's a MOT history, it's just had two tests, one at 486 miles, one at 872. Service history print from Lex Auto Lease, it's had nothing done to it because it's done no miles. Uh, it's just had wiper blades and two MOT tests. However, I have just serviced this as well. Um, servicing on these vans is every 24,000 miles. The only serviceable part on these Kangoos is the pollen filter. Um, uh, it's just an inspection service and, uh, and the pollen filter, you can do that yourself. Um, yeah, with these EVs, you just drive them. Once they're out of warranty, you know, the, the servicing, um, you know, there's no oil, there's no liquids. You're down to wipers and tires are the only wear and tear items. And then um, change your uh, brake fluid occasionally and, you know, the pollen filter if you want to do that. And, and that's your lot. Um, so uh, manuals, we've got the radio book, we've got the quick start guide. It is missing the user manual. I have ordered one from Renault, so I'm hoping that will be here tomorrow and your service um, sheets are in the back of that. So that will be stamped for the service it's just had. But of course, this has only done a thousand miles. So 
that's its first one anyway and uh, it's still like a new vehicle as I've said so um, nothing to worry about there and then under the seat here is a puncture repair kit including a, a bottle of gunk and a electric pump so this is a hugely practical EV as I said there's just not much else out there there is these Kangoo crew vans and there's also the Nissan ENV 200 in either five or seven seat but they're very rare as well and then of course you've got the Tesla Model X which is in a different league altogether um, so yeah you could use this as a van or you could use it as a um, family vehicle they're ideal vehicles if you've got dogs or children with lots of push chairs or bikes or stuff like that um, it's just a hugely practical vehicle so if you're interested in this vehicle then do give me a call or email let me know your postcode and I'll work out delivery costs because I can deliver this anywhere in the country and it will come to you on a flatbed fully charged and ready to use.